Rochester Public Library presents Cablegram, a weekly informational program about library services, materials, and events. The city of Rochester is 150 years old. Sometimes when you think about history, you feel that it might be all kind of dull and uninteresting, but it can be very exciting. Think of this, a dark night, strange rappings, voices from the dead, communications with spirits. It may sound like an old horror film, but it's not. It happened, it happened here in Rochester. And the people who know most about this are the Fox sisters, and they're with us today. Kate Fox and Margaret Fox. When did all of these mysterious happenings begin? Kate was uh, 12, and I was 14 at the time. We had moved into um, a home in Hydesville in December of 47. Um, now, you were talking about 1847. Yes, 1847. Um, and by February, we started hearing very strange noises in the house. We slept upstairs, Kate and I, and um, we um, complained to mother about these strange noises, but she ignored us. Um, by March, the noises continued, and they became so loud that it did disturb our parents. And uh, Kate, on, on March 31st, 1848, um, the noises became very, very loud. Um, father went to investigate. He uh, thought it was the windows, so he would shake the windows, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we would hear the rapping. And um, Kate realized, had noticed at that time, no one else did, that the noises responded to the rappings that father, the noises that father made. And come to find out, it was a Charles Rosma. And he had been a peddler going through the village and he had stopped at this house quite a while ago and it turned out that he had been murdered and buried in our cellar. Oh. So learning of this we decided well let's see how true this is and we dug up the cellar and we couldn't find anything. Well about 10 years later we decided to try it again and we found bones, a skeleton of a man. Mm -hmm. Our sister um, convinced us to well, she decided to conduct seances, and uh, she charged a dollar a sitting, and... Well, there are a lot of skeptics. Mm -hmm. Quite a few. A lot of believers, but people who kept calling us hope, it, that the whole thing was a hoax, and mm -hmm. it just wasn't true. A lot of people tried to prove it, that it was a hoax, and they couldn't do it. It was for no. real. But she was never in the places where the real anger was. She was not at Corinthian Hall when they tried to lynch us. Leah and I oh, were there. You? Yes. No. Uh, if it wasn't <laughs> for the police <laughs> chief, yeah. we would have, um, we might not, I might not have been here. Um, also, I was interrogated by um, three uh, doctors in, from the University of Buffalo when I was there. I don't know why it was, but wherever I went, <laughs> they just, the, the mobs were just incredibly angry. But obviously there are many people who do believe and who did believe because in a sense you founded the modern spiritualist movement. That's right. right. Yes, by 1852 there were um, 11 million spiritualists and two, about 2,000 mediums. Mm -hmm. So it really just, not, just evolved very quickly for us. It was just incredible that, um, what happened within a few years of that little incident in Hydesville. 